Hello everybody. So today we're going to be setting up our sugar fermentation lab using balloons. Um, we actually have a variety of different types of carbohydrates that we're going to be using. And the idea is to go ahead and just see which carbohydrates work best in fermentation um, and which carbohydrates are less effective. So the ones that we're going to be using today are sucrose, lactose, glucose, fructose, aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener, maltose, stevia, and sucralose. Um, sucralose is like Splenda. So um, what I went ahead and did already is I put two tablespoons of yeast, dry quick rise yeast, into each of the fleekers. Um, and then I went ahead already and I added in whatever type of carbohydrate belongs in each fleeker. So I went ahead and I did half of a teaspoon of each. You can kind of see in this last one here, I have like a little makeshift funnel. And so each one of these had their own funnel so that we didn't cross contaminate. And the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be adding half a cup of warm water. In the first fleeker, um, that fleeker is only gonna contain the yeast and the water. Um, that one will not have any sugar or any type of carbohydrate added to it. Um, and then each one of these is going to have a balloon put at the top. And I'm going to let them sit for kind of as many hours as I have. And then we're going to come back later and look at them and see the difference in sizes of balloons. So what you need to be thinking about um, basically is the reaction for alcoholic fermentation. Um, what could be causing the balloons to expand, what gas that would be. And then this is really just kind of like a qualitative experiment. We're not gonna be taking any measurements. It's just gonna kind of be um, a visual comparison between the different sugars. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in our first fleeker um, just water. Again, like I said, it's a cup of water. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir with one of my Portillo's disposable knives. Okay, and then it gets a balloon. So I'm gonna put a white balloon on this one. Unfortunately, I don't have different colors for each of the fleekers, but you'll be able to kind of keep track of that. So this is number one. Okay, we're gonna let that one going. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna repeat that for all of our different fleekers. I'm not gonna make you watch it. Um, but like for this one, for example, you can see that there is the sugar in there. This one happens to be sucrose, which is just table sugar. Um, and then there is the yeast. Okay, and I'm gonna get all of these set up and then we'll take a peek and see how they look at the beginning. Okay, we're almost done here. I just have one more to do. So process is going pretty quick. It's probably taken me probably under you know, two minutes or so. So this one is actually for sucralose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add half a cup of water. This is just what I did for all of them. Okay, and then using a new, a new knife, I'm just gonna give it a quick stir because otherwise the yeast kind of tends to stick to the bottom. You can kind of see it stick in there. Get it going. And then I've gotten pretty good at putting on the balloons. We'll see. Okay, and so now these are kind of all set up. So I have the whole group set up. You can see that at the bottom, one of the balloons has already popped up. I have my trusty assistant, the squirrel, watching it at the end. Give it an eye on everything that's going on. So I'm gonna let this run, I don't know, maybe for the next two hours or so, and then we're gonna come back and just see how all of these balloons look. Remember, again, we're not gonna be collecting any numbers for this, but you can kind of get an idea of what we're gonna be expecting to see. So um, again, we'll check in in about two hours and we'll look at the final results from our little experiment. 
All right, it has been a little over two hours and we're gonna go back and kind of visit and see how things went. So our first one is the um, fleeker that contains water. You can see the balloon, nothing has happened with the balloon. Then we have the sucrose, lactose, glucose, fructose, aspartame, maltose, stevia, and sucralose. So you can kind of get an idea, you know, looking at these different size balloons, where fermentation was the most active and where it was less active or not existent at all. And so now your job is to go ahead and think about why you have different results from these different types of sugar sources um, and how the experiment goes ahead and proves that.